the beans, the rice, uh, meat. So needless to say, I was very surprised. This is Hillary Garcia in Tepoztlan, Mexico. Back to you, Chris. Until next time, this is Chris Brooks for Travel World. Hi, I'm Chris Brooks. Welcome to Travel World. Have you ever traveled to a country with a completely different culture? If you have, you probably know what culture shock is. It's a feeling of confusion you get from suddenly being in a new environment. The traditions and customs may seem strange. Expectations are different. You don't know exactly what you're supposed to do. You may even be a little bit afraid of making a mistake. In time, you get used to everything. But when you get home, you often have some interesting and perhaps humorous stories to tell about your cross-cultural experiences. Today, we're going to Latin America to meet some people who've traveled abroad and hear about their experiences crossing cultures. First, let's go to Brazil. Ah, yes, Rio de Janeiro. Enjoying a spectacular view of Sugarloaf Mountain is our lucky reporter, Fatima Nolan. Hi, Chris. I'm here in beautiful Rio de Janeiro. Like everywhere else in the world, people here like to travel abroad and have some interesting stories to tell. Let's talk with some of them. What's your name and where are you from? My name is Camila and I was born in Stockholm, Sweden, but I moved to Rio when I was four, and I've lived here ever since. Two years ago, I went to Sweden, and I lived there for a year. What did you notice that was different? Well, the first thing that I noticed when I got to Sweden was how people greet each other. It was completely different, because here in Brazil, we kiss on the cheek, and they shake hands. So I went to kiss, like, and they, oh my goodness, what's going on? And they felt like you're invading my space or something like that. It was strange. This is Fatima Nolan from Rio de Janeiro. Back to you, Chris. Thanks, Fatima. Now, let's cross the South American continent to Lima, Peru, where our reporter Denise Oregui is standing by. Denise? Thanks, Chris. We're here at the beautiful Plaza de Armas. This is a favorite spot for tourists and the people of Lima. Let's talk to some people here about their cross-cultural experiences. Hey, what's your name and where are you from? My name's Andrew and I'm from the United States. Have you noticed any difference in the way people do things here in Peru? Yeah, one thing that I've really noticed is the public transportation system is really different. Because here, the bus system is private. And so there's all these people trying to get you on their bus because the way they make money is by getting as many people as possible to get on their bus. So the whole time, they're yelling, get on my bus, get on my bus. And sometimes it's not the bus that you want to be getting on. This is Denise Arregui here in Lima, Peru. Back to you, Chris. Thank you, Denise. Now reporter Hillary Garcia is standing by in Mexico, our final destination for today. What do you have for us, Hillary? Thanks, Chris. I'm here in beautiful Tepoztlan, Mexico, a town that both Mexican and foreign tourists like to visit. Let's talk with a few of them about their cross-cultural experiences. Where are you from? My name is Delfino Valdez, and I was born in Reynosa, Mexico, and now I live in the United States. Tell us about your cross-cultural experience. I am married to an American woman, and she was making me lunch one day, and she brought me a soup and a sandwich. Once I was done with it, I said, okay, honey, where's the rest of it? And she said, that was it. Well, it is customary in my culture. Hey, Edwin, how are you? Good, thank you.
Hello, Edwin. How was your day? Jose, how was your day? Hi, teacher. It was great. Ah, uh, the best weather, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah. the best, the best weather for sleeping. Yeah, but I have to work. <laughs> anyway, and imagine that uh, it's raining all the day. I wake up like uh, four four thirty a.m. and I was driving a motorcycle. Right. Well, first in the morning I was driving a car, but uh, thanks God I sold today. But when I came back to my home from my job, I was driving a motorcycle and it's raining a lot. So I'm a little confused, Jose. You sold your car today? Yes, I sold my car. And I got a motorcycle from my job to my home. Oh, okay. Yeah, and it's raining a lot. Imagine that I was driving slow, raining, and uh, well, but uh, at the end, it was nice. I love the weather. Okay, okay. Hey, that's good though, but you, you wanted to sell your car. Yeah, that happened is that I buy a car, I import the car or motorcycle to sell. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's that's my own business. Yes, I, for the business, for the business, right? Yeah, that's my own business. I work in a private company for sell out of parts, but I have my own business to import cars or motorcycle to, to repair here and sell. Okay, okay, I got it. Good, good. All right. Well, I'm glad. Happy for you. That that's a good day. Yeah, that's a well a good day today. Okay, good. How about the rest of you guys? How was your day? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Roxana. It was a great day. A little tired. Uh, I did many things all mm -hmm. day. <laughs> it, many, many things at work or many personal things? Personal things in my house. Oh, okay. It's, it's always very... Chores, chores. Yes, exactly. The chores. Ah, always, you, you always have chores in the house, right? Never you. Stop. Yes, and every day is the same. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Hey, and Helio, how was the day for driving? Because you are driving all day. How was your day today? You yeah, it is. Uh, drivers. You know, mm -hmm. Yeah, it, today it's been raining all day long, so I had to be very careful driving around because uh, the, the because the slippery road. Yeah, because it always happens that when the real rain, the the streets turn slippery. Mm -hmm. So I I had to be very careful driving by myself, even taking care for the for the drivers around because sometimes they 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 are very responsible drivers. So I had to very, I had to watch out for, uh, but because some of them they will suspect he, even the weather is bad weather they they don't, they don't care they just they just realize they they were the the owner of the streets so 
you know, that, that what I do is I take care of all the situation, drive slow, I take my time, no, no, not, not drive so, so slow, but uh, normally, normally, mm-hmm. drive, normally, normally driving very carefully. But it was okay. very nice though, it was very nice. Yeah, because the, I, I love when it rains because I can I can stand the the hot weather. It is yeah. very, very, really exhausting driving in hot weather. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. And even for sleeping, right? Because when it's hot weather, ah, you try to move and try to get it, away, and it's, it's uncomfortable. It's uncomfortable. It's uncomfortable. It, 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 even if. Uh, if I if I said the the what should I call it the the fan the fan you know the noise mm-hmm. it bother it bother me bother uh, the noise of the of the fan so uh, I better turn it off the fan you know, in order to sleep even in the hot but uh, but. Uh, I try to reconcilize the, uh, my dream. My, my dream. Yeah. Good, good. And you, Edwin, how was your day? It, it's not too dangerous for you? Good evening. Good evening, good evening. Oli. 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 How are you? Good, Oli. I think Edwin good. has problems with connections. Edwin, you having problems with the internet? Oli. Hi. Hi, Oli. Hi. <laughs> Hi. How are you? Hi, Edwin. Oli, I don't remember hello. this class today. <laughs> hello. Okay, Edwin. Yes, now we hear you. Now we can hear you. Nah, the, the micro, my micro, that's why. <laughs> that's why the microphone is moved. <laughs> It's okay. In the home, I, I decide to, to stay home. Because it's, oh. it's, it's too dangerous. It's too dangerous in the street. Oh. You didn't go to work today, then, Edwin. And a lot of the, the street is. Um, and you say, and the floor is wet, you know. The slippery. So, yeah. I I decide to stay home, and tomorrow is gonna be the same. I don't know if you to you go to work because it's it's the it's too much raining. Too much raining. I, I had a I, I had it's going to be up to Tuesday. Yeah, yeah. It's what I had on, yeah. the, on the news. Yes, yes, yes. It's a little dangerous. Okay, okay. Yes, it's true. That's nice. Hey, Oli, what are you doing? You're in, you're you're not in bed today. Mm-hmm. Uh, very fine. Very fine. Um, relax. I rest. She's trying to get a. So monitor. sorry, my love. Okay. Yeah. I envy you. It is um it's sure my home. I envy you. And and today Oli? Huh? What did you do, uh, Oli? No. Well, uh, are you asking to me? No. Only. Oh, only, oh, only, I'm sorry. This is Helio. Yeah, yeah, I heard so. Yeah, I heard so. That's why I got confused. Next, Helio. <laughs> yeah, well, we will listen to you, Oli. Go ahead. What, what do you do today? Uh, very, very, uh, very, 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 um, very nice is uh, meeting and uh, yeah, um, 
and the ay, espérame, and good evening no in the evening in the evening uh, no and the como se dice tarde the evening or afternoon good afternoon yes uh, are you meeting good afternoon in the office um eh, de, nothing that's it so you you sleep all day long yes i envy you because I, mm -hmm. I have to go to work mm -hmm. under bad condition, weather. Okay, no, but that's good. That's good that you are busy and you have things to do. Okay, this is important. So, all right, guys, today we're gonna be looking at and we're gonna be reviewing many of the things that we have been learning. We want to practice them, the speaking, right? We want to practice. Yeah because this is the most difficult part. This is the part that we don't have time many times. So the first thing we're going to start is with our past tense. We're going to practice the three times, right? Past tense, present tense, and then future tense. The, future. Future is the past right. tense. So with our partners, we're going to talk about our last vacation, right? The last what, I'm sorry? The last vacation. Oh, the last vacation, okay. Exactly. So what do we want to talk about? We want to talk about what we did. We want to talk about okay, okay. where we went. Okay. We want to talk about who we went with. Okay. Uh, we want to talk about when was the last vacation. Okay. So okay. the first thing is talking about the last vacation, right? What did we do or what did you do? And where did you go? Who did you go with? Okay. And then when did you go? These are the main things that we want to talk about. Okay. And did you like your last vacation and you didn't like and why? Okay. And then we want to answer the question, why? Why you liked it or why you didn't like your last vacation or where you went? Maybe you went to El Tunco. Maybe you went to Ataco, but you didn't like Okay, but why? Okay, or maybe you did like and why? Or what food did you eat or what things were different? Are we ready? It's okay, the questions? Yes, teacher. Okay, good. Go ahead, Roxana. I want to hear you. Hi, Elio. <laughs> yeah, hi, Roxana. I want to hear you. What do you do right. last, last vacation? What do you. to have a huge meal in the middle of the day with the beans, the rice, the meat. So needless to say, I was very surprised. This is Hillary Garcia in Tepoztlan, Mexico. Back to you, Chris. Until next time, this is Chris Brooks for Travel World, bidding you bon voyage. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to express your feelings towards traveling to other countries. You'll learn how to use noun phrases to do this. 
So let's get started by me asking you a few questions which you should be able to answer with no problems at all by the end of this class. When traveling to another country, would you be nervous about being far away from your family? Would you feel insecure about traveling alone? Would you be enthusiastic about making new friends? By the end of this class, you'll be able to use noun phrases which contain relative clauses in order to express your ideas when it comes to traveling. So let me present some structure at this particular moment. What we're going to try to do is we're going to try to make sense of these noun phrases which contain relative clauses. Um, first, we'll start talking a little bit about how we use this as a subject. And then we'll move into the object, probably the object. I'll separate this into a different lecture. So uh, in order to form this kind of um, expressions, first we're going to have a subject. So in this case, this subject becomes one thing. Uh, then this is followed by a relative clause, I really miss. And then we're going to have the uh, verb to be. Uh, in this case, as you can see, is the verb to be is. And then that's followed by um, an object or a phrase, if you will. So let's write that specific sentence down, and then we're going to try to make sense of it, as I mentioned. So let me do that at this point. Okay. All right, so as I mentioned, uh, one thing, sorry, one thing becomes the subject of the sentence. I've, I've colored that in green so we can uh, see the difference between what's a verb and what's a, what's, a, uh, what's a subject, what's a relative clause, what's a verb, and what's the object of this particular idea. Then this is followed by the relative clause. I, I colored this in blue so you can see what, what I'm referring to as a relative clause. And then the verb to be. Now, the verb to be needs to match with the subject, if you will. So if the subject uh, were to be plural, then this should change to are. Um, and then it's followed by the object of the sentence. So in this case, my mom's cooking is the object of the sentence. What we're going to do right now is we're going to include a lot of uh, relative clauses uh, so that you can see that uh, this topic could it can become a little bit confusing, but if we understand uh, this structure, it, it shouldn't be difficult to complete. So let me include um, lots of relative clauses, all right? And what we're going to do is we're going to try to make sense of it, but we're going to try to uh, make different sentences with them, all right? So um, I mentioned one thing. Um, you could You could express this idea by saying something, right? Uh, you could also say two people, or you can say two things, or you can say uh, two things that I miss would be, and then you mention what those things are. Um, but um, let's try to make sense of it here. Um, so one thing I really miss is my mom's cooking. So I've included uh, a few relative clauses. And let me get you to answer this by me asking you the question. So what would you be nervous about? when traveling to another country? What would you be anxious about? What would you be comfortable with? What would you be curious about? What would you be enthusiastic about? What would you be fascinated by? Um, let's say that we choose the country, uh, maybe France, all right? So France seems like a very touristic place. And I think that a lot of people would like to travel to this particular country. So let's do that second one. One thing I'd be nervous about is that's going to follow the bird to be. And maybe for me is getting lost. All right. Uh, let me try to keep the format a little bit because I want you to notice that we have one thing is the noun. Uh, the relative clauses I'll be nervous about. Then this is followed by the bird to be. And then this will be followed by the object of the sentence. Okay. So for me, one thing I'd really be nervous about, or one thing I'd be nervous about, is getting lost. One thing I'd be anxious about is getting to know this new city. One thing I'd be comfortable with is the weather. One thing I'd be curious about is learning about the country's culture. One thing I'd be enthusiastic about is learning the new language. One thing I'll be fascinated by is getting to know 
the history behind the architecture in that particular city. And so you get the idea. Um, so if we follow this pattern, subject plus relative clause plus verb to be plus the object, then we shouldn't uh, have any difficulties expressing these ideas. Uh, just one last thing that I would like to mention that if I change the subject to plural, okay, I will need to change the verb to be and I will also need to change the object because both things need to be plural. They need to match with whatever the subject is. So for example, two things I really miss are my mom's cooking and my room at home. Okay, that's just to give you an example. And if, if the subject changes to something plural, then you will need to do the same for uh, the rest. So what I would like for you to do now is to practice this concept. Okay, great. We had a good opportunity to speak with our partners and ask a lot of questions and get information. So let's start. Letty, tell me about your partner. Okay. Um, the last vacation we went to Antigua, Guatemala. No, but not you. Not you. Your partner. Who is? Ah, uh, my partner. Uh, you visited. Um, La... Who was your partner? Uh, Roxana. Okay. Tell Roxana, me. you visit. Uh... No, you. No, you. Bis ah, okay. She, she visit. She visited. She visited. She... Remember, past she visited. tense. Past tense. Okay. She visited. Okay. Thanks, mm -hmm. teacher. As, uh, you... She visited um... Puerta del Diablo. <laughs> Um, uh, it's uh, pupusas, uh, typical food. Um, and, um, okay. And, uh, di, um, disfrutar. Enjoy. Enjoy the, uh, enjoy the water, water, water. Weather. Weather. Mm -hmm. The weather. Mm -hmm. uh, the weather. Uh, the weather. 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 Uh, some meals, but she didn't enjoy uh, because she didn't like this, the flavor of the food in Guatemala. And she went to Guatemala with, with her family. And that. <laughs> okay, all right. Good, thank you, good, good. All right, Helio, tell me about your partner. Oh. He did a, he, he says he wants, he visited. Wait, Helio, who was your partner? I, I went. Okay, so I went. He, 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 didn't, he, he didn't say much about, he, he just told me that, uh, because I told him that uh, I, I went to Esquipula. You know, this is cl it's close to the, whatever uh, the. No, but Edwin, tell me about Edwin. Uh, so yeah, yeah, but uh, he, he, uh, he told me that he wants, he uh, went over there. To visit him too, but he didn't tell me much about his his the zoo. Teacher, me? No, no, the zoo. Edwin said the zoo. Teacher, Teacher. Edwin Teacher. is my partner. Teacher, uh huh. Yes, I said. Edwin I was, is, I was, is my partner. I was talking with Elio, but I couldn't say something. Uh, he's trying to tell me about his last vacation and was talking about his last vacation. And but I can share my last vacation if you want. Yes, Jose, share about your last vacation. Okay. 
Um, well, my last vacation was the last month. I visited a paneca and a taco. Uh, was a wonderful day. And I was traveling with my daughter and my wife. I was driving for, I think, one hour and 30 minutes, something like that. And we got a lunch. As lunch. I remember, as I remember, it was like a meat and chicken and something like that. And we ate, how can I say that, yuca. I don't remember the, the, the word in English, but I ate um, yuca and some norm. I think it was, um, I don't remember, remember the name, but I came back to my home like uh, 7 p.m. Okay, all right. Good, good, good vacation, Jose, all right. Now, Helio, tell us about your last vacation. Yeah, my last vacation, as I, I was uh, telling uh, Edwin that uh, a Say. day before, it's a day before, I mean, a year before the, the, the pandemic broke, broke out. So I went to Guatemala, uh, a, a city called uh, Esquipulas. In the last week, at the end of the last week, a, 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 a big fest it, it takes, takes place there. Uh, but uh, it goes like uh, two weeks, two weeks. Fest. So, but I stayed still there like uh, five days. I went. I went with a friend of mine. Uh, we enjoyed the trip, and we like the the food. We were, we were, we were very careful asking for food. Because I asked for a for a, a bowl of soup. Then they asked me if I want a hat. I said, of course, I want a hat because it, it, it's a soup in the country for the, to be hot in order to enjoy it. But I, I didn't know that they, they call hot plenty, plenty chili. Chili. I didn't know that. So I asked them, oh, yeah, they, I, I like the hot soup. So they serve, they serve my, my bowl. I started trying to enjoy it. At the first spoonful, I, I took to my mouth. Man, it, it was very, very, very hot and chilly. That uh, so even my for them the hot is the is the spicy food. The spicy food they call hot. Um, I, they, 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 they they don't call it hot because. Uh, or boiling, boiling water, or boiling soup. No, they call it hot because the spicy stuff they 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 use it for 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 the for the taste of that. So, okay. but I didn't know. But I, but I thought it was, well, it was hot. So, but uh, okay. but uh, along the the hot the, the hot on, uh, on boiling, it was hot because the spice the stuff right. they they were added to the to the to the soup. When I took that much for a spoon to my mouth, man, this was, okay. I, 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 I can't describe uh, what, what I felt what, when, when, when I put I, 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 I felt the, the spice on my mouth. Okay. I didn't know. Right. I went, I right. went straight asking for right. water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oli, tell me about Edwin. So Oli, Oli, go ahead. Tell me about Edwin. Yes, no, yes, yes, yes. Yes, okay. Yes. Uh, Edwin is, uh, I was a uh, uh, vacation last uh, August in the beach in Tunco. Is um, more, so much, uh, beers. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, 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 no, my Wi-Fi is a company. Um, right. 
His wife. Uh, no, no. Uh, he wife. No, only you, not your husband. <laughs> no, 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 you. Estoy, so, so sorry, pero están grabando un video para una tarea de mi hijo. Entonces ah, ya okay. me quitaron de la sala. Entonces tengo que moverme del lugar. Okay, no problem. Edwin. Eh, pero tengo, hay, hay question. Eh, y, eh, why, eh, why, eh, my wife, no, is amante, dice, dice Edwin. Ah, <laughs> the lover. Yeah, his lover. lover. His lover. lover. Ah, okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. Es visite, visite right. Edwin, visite eh, eh, the strip, el tunco, is lo, this lover. His lover, yes. Oh, his lover. lover. Yes. Mm -hmm. I I I question is as very bad. Is is no Edwin. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Awesome. I going to ask. What happened I, with I, Oli? Uh, speak to Mexico. We have connection. You hear me? Yes. 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 I can hear you. Um. The we speak is the, she told me she didn't like the uh, time the brother. Very nice, my vacation, okay? <laughs> yeah, she, she, she liked the, the mountain. Only in the she mountain. Nice, the, the yeah, yes, she has I a love, nice much the beach. I love you. Oh. It. It's the mountain. I know I like it. Um, I know the beach. And the, uh, the vacation was um, mom's uh, last three weekend in Apaneca. My food is in a taco. I love it. Um, el hotel uh, Alicante is a very, uh, very nice. El, el clima is, is cold. Okay. All right. Okay. Good. Good. All right. Uh, what yeah. uh, is my family? <laughs> All my family. Today, my family. Okay, good. <laughs> All right. Now, no lovers. No, no lovers, right? Eh? No, no, no. <laughs> I know lovers. Okay. I need you, uh, lovers, so much. <laughs> oh, man. That's a good experience. That's good. The preference, good. the preference, millionaire. That's <laughs> right, <laughs> yes. <laughs> a millionaire. Good. Good. That's now yeah, we're, yeah. now yeah. we're going you to will. talk about our daily activities yeah, well, yes, no? and weekend yeah. activities. You're you going will, to talk about will. what do you do and what time do you do them? So as an example, you, you talk about yourself. What is your daily activities? And then what is your weekend activities? Okay. On Sunday, I wake up late. I, I go out for breakfast, I, whatever you do, or maybe in the weekdays, I wake up at five o'clock, I get dressed, I take a shower, I have breakfast, then I go to work, next I have meetings, uh, after I enjoy my lunch with my coworkers or whatever it is, but we're going to talk about the daily and the weekly routines, the two of them, right? The both, the daily and then the weekly. And you're going to ask your partners more questions. For example, your partner says, oh, I have breakfast. Excellent. What do you have for breakfast? Where, what is normal? Is normal cereal or beans and eggs or idea, okay? So okay. your partner speak, but is your responsibility? Ask more questions. It's okay? Okay, teacher. All right. Yes. Let's practice.
see what's happening, right? So that's in green. The subject is in green. So I'm changing my mom's papers, traveling to other countries. You learn how to use noun phrases to do this. In our previous class, we learned how to express these ideas. And what we focused on learning was how to express the, uh, these ideas and using the noun phrases as the subject of our sentence. What we're going to do today is we're going to focus on the right side of this chart, and we're going to learn how to use the noun phrases as the object of our sentence. So if you recall our previous lesson, we learned one thing I really miss is my mom's cooking. And we learned this sort of formula here, subject plus relative clause plus the verb to be, and then the object, uh, that, that's the activity. What we're going to do in this lesson is we're going to borrow this object and we're going to turn that into the subject of our sentence. Um, so I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep one of those ideas there so you can see exactly what happens whenever we make that particular change. What we want to do is we want to change this statement, one thing I really miss is my mom's cooking, into my mom's cooking is one thing I really miss. By the way, it's important to mention, and I think I did not mention this in our previous lesson, that what you see in parentheses is optional. That means that you can either use it or you know, exclude it from your sentence. So one thing that I really miss is my mom's cooking. That's correct. But also, if you just say, one thing I really miss is my mom's cooking, either one of those two sentences is correct. Let me write this structure down so you can see what's going to happen whenever we make this change. As I mentioned previously, what we want to do is we want to change this noun phrase that is being used as the subject. That means that the noun phrase, one thing I really miss, is the subject of our sentence. Uh, and basically what we want to do is we want to change that into being the object of our sentence, as you can see here in our next example. So um, the structure is the following. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to have, uh, we're going to change my mom's cooking into that being the subject of our sentence. All right. So let me go ahead and write that down. I'm going to say my, my mom's cooking. That's becomes the subject of our sentence now, all right? Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm just going to make sure that um, uh, this is quite clear, so I'm going to uh, put in those spaces there. So I'm also going to go ahead and change that color to make sure that we um, see what's happening, right? So that's in green. The subject is in green. So I'm, I'm changing my mom's cooking, which was the object of our previous sentence, to that being the subject of our sentence now. Now, notice that the verb to be also changes in location, and the verb to be follows the subject. So my mom's cooking, all right, and that's the verb to be, is, let me change the color there as well. Okay, there we go. Uh, then this follows the noun phrase, all right? So what do I mean by the noun phrase? Uh, well, uh, uh, previously it was the subject of her sentence, and also that would follow the relative clause. So literally, this is what I'm going to put here. I separated it so that you could see actually what happened there. All right. Um, but the, the noun, uh, and I, I think I colored that differently. So let me make sure everything matches here. Um, and that's basically what happened. Just a couple of things changed. Number one, we had to change the object of our previous sentence to that being the subject of our new sentence. So my mom's cooking. Uh, and then that followed the verb to be. So the verb to be follows the subject. My mom's cooking is one thing I really miss. If we look at our previous examples, the ones that we did in our previous lesson, uh, in which we said, one thing I'd be nervous about is getting lost. So let's say that I wanted to change this idea and I wanted to use this uh, noun phrase, but now being used as the object, all right? Um, and, and so let me write that idea down. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to change this 
this activity getting lost, which in our previous sentence was the object of our sentence, and we're going to change it to the subject. So, for example, we'll say getting lost. All right, that's that's uh, that becomes the subject of our sentence. Okay, that follows the verb to be is, and then um, that will follow uh, the noun phrase. All right. So we're going to say is uh, one thing, okay, and then that follows the relative clause. I'll be um, nervous about, all right? Uh, very important. I want you to notice what happens with this preposition. This preposition uh, will typically go at the very end, as you can see. So I want to emphasize this real quick. Um, and what I would like for you to do is to use um, the same ideas that you wrote down in the previous class, but change the order of them. The goal is to practice. As you can see, um, we, we have the same ideas here in the example. Something I'd be nervous about is making new friends. What we do is we change the order of this and we say making new friends is something I'd be nervous about. Or making new friends is something that I would be nervous about. Um, two people I email every day are my parents. My parents are two people I would email every day. So what I would like for you to do is to practice making the previous sentences to those being used as the object of your sentence, sort of like the example that you see here. Okay, good. Let's see. Let's see if we can try it. All right, Monica, tell me about your partners. Okay, good evening. I heard that Helio is a driver, but I don't understand to the all for driver or who driver is a driver for a restaurant, right? And he he had um, a itinerary for the itinerary uh, itinerary when he uh, wake up at six o'clock six a.m. o'clock and he eat a uh, breakfast and little milk and orange right and he he had a itinerary very um uh, how do you say a strict very strict very strict very strict uh when uh he hour um that is all because okay. I don't hear the other partner. No problem, no problem. Only hell you're talking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh -huh. so, so. No problem, no problem. Okay. Helio, tell us about the Monica what or the partner. What did you hear? Well, uh, my Monica, yes, yes, was the telling about about my my part of my day, daily routine that they, like, they say this she didn't understand the the word no, no, but, well. but tell us about monica what what did you learn about monica okay what about jose what did you learn about jose oh jose jose 
told me that, that uh, he, he, he wakes up at uh, six in the morning and then he, he does his workout. He does, uh, he does. Uh, he he work out and then he take a shower and then he he pick something take for breakfast seven seven forty five he goes out to work yeah he 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 do many things he does. driving too remember he does, he does Helio, many Helio, Helio, remember yes. he's the third person s he does yeah, he he does does yeah, many he things does. he so, goes yeah. out he fixes he goes out. He goes out and do many, he, he does many things, driving driving around. And then he says that uh, he mentioned something like that. No, 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 he, he did, no. Okay, uh, Helio, yeah. thank you. Thank you, Helio. Yeah. Jose, tell me about your partner. What did you hear about your partner, Jose? A man, Helio, do you remember the, the better part? You didn't remember. I start um doing exercise <laughs> Funny. yeah yeah the work work as it work out it was said it's yeah, the same i, I run in, the same. i run mm -hmm. in in the morning like uh, 30 minutes uh, since two weeks ago uh, okay. from every day every day from monday to friday that's great yeah believe me that i'm better now okay good good and Jose, did you hear anything different or anything more? Uh, yeah, Elliot said that, that he drives um, a car, but it's like a van for 12 passengers. And he has a um, different schedule from Monday to Friday. He, ha he has uh, days off on weekend. And normally works uh eight hour but suddenly could be nine hours or more and the company that he works is in front of the national university okay okay good all right good leticia tell us about your partner my partner is roxana uh, your daily activity is uh, her, prepare, her daily activity. Her daily activity is uh, preparing lunch for the mother, his mother. Uh, he is uh, she studying English in the morning. He watches a novel in the afternoon. He drink uh, coffee with with your mother. With her and mother. The, and her mother. His mm -hmm. his mother. Uh, his, mother. Mm -hmm. on his mother on the weekend um, uh, she take uh, his mother to the market in the afternoon he watch a movie uh, on the Sunday um, she go, goes, goes to the oh, Christian mass the afternoon he has lunch in a restaurant uh, in say and then take a break. He, he's a uh, very busy. He, he spends his uh, daily happily <laughs> in different activities. Okay, okay, good. And your partner was Edwin. No, me too. Roxana, Roxana. Then no he, Leti. Then no he, she. <laughs> and she say he's he's yeah. oh, and, and I say and I say she no she say he I say okay maybe it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's okay let the also okay I'm so she. sorry <laughs> don't worry about that <laughs> right we right. 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 all right Roxana tell us about Leticia okay um. Uh, Leticia. Leticia's daily routine. <laughs> well, she gets up early at 6 a.m. and she prepares uh, breakfast for her mother and his son. In his son. 
and her song. <laughs> yes, yes, exactly. <laughs> and her song and she said only that about the, the week. And on, on Sunday, she goes to the church. She is a Catholic person. And only that. I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. No problem. Oli, tell us about your partner. Otra vez. Oli. Y no hablaron diferente cosa. Ay, Oli. Yeah. <laughs> okay, then. Tell us about <laughs> no. your partner. No. Next. Next. The new, the new story. Next. Next. I am funny. Go today. Oh. Yes. Come on. Ay, Oli. All the excuses. Ay, Oli. Uh-huh. Good excuse, though. No, no. A good excuse, though, okay. Oli. A good excuse. Good excuses. Good excuses. Edwin, no, no. tell me about Odi. Edwin, Edwin, tell me about Odi. Ed, Edwin is my partner. Uh, Edwin is the weekend. is a um, restaurant Willy. He's bear. <laughs> <laughs> what does he do? Remember, it's the necessary, the action, the verb to complete the sentence. Okay. At restaurant Willy. Edwin goes to restaurant. Edwin go uh, the restaurant Willy's. Okay. Uh, um, drink. Uh, beers and um, so, um, beers in the morning. Uh, <laughs> yes, uh, say, uh, six, really? six, six and uh, IPM. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Edwin, Edwin is speaking. Edwin dijo. Uh, okay, yeah. okay. Uh, he says so. <laughs> Amanece ahí, dijo. O sea, desde ahora. Wow. <laughs> hey, Edwin. <laughs> es de, de domingo. Eh. How do you say domingo? Think. Ay, Dios. I, for, uh, I forget. Sunday. Sunday is, is the goma. No sé cómo se dice goma. Okay. Resaca. Okay. It is, is the prepari, uh, the soap, the hang chicken. Over, hang over. It's a This up and the wife uh, and here wife uh, the chicken. <laughs> okay. That's it. Edwin is very happy. Week. <laughs> <laughs> well. Okay. Okay. Edwin, tell me about Oli. It's basic, I, I am. It's, basic. it's okay. It's okay, Oli. But Edwin can tell me something about you. But Edwin, anyway. your microphone. Okay. Hello, hello. Yes, now yes. you. Yes. Uh, no. Only, only a... Um, ...world and the home. And only Wednesday, she were in, in the offices. Uh, what? <laughs> only Wednesday? Uh, only Wednesday. Okay. She works only on Edwin, Wednesday? Edwin, no, only oh, Wednesday, she goes to the office. Eat, sleep, and the food. The Sunday. She go to yes. the I know beers, no like. <laughs> wait, Oli, wait. Let me by... finish. Let me finish. Uh huh. <laughs> uh, and let me say the, the Sunday she go to the supermarket and buy all the food for all the weeks. And Sunday she say he had he had a. Uh, her husband had a friend and buy a beer and they drinking a beer. Okay. Yeah. That's. Oh, nice, nice. So Sunday, the day Oli drinks. Oli drinks the beer, goes to the supermarket. No, no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, no. No, no, no. Yeah, okay. Uh -huh. And the supermarket. It's a finish through. Uh, how many? Uh -huh. See, I am drink, I am drink mojito 
en, en Alicante. No, no es Alicante, es acantilados. En la cantina. What happened, Oli? Oh, what, 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 a good dance, a good dancing place of the. Yeah. I love it. Uh, I love it dancing. My husband no dancing. No. He's very He doesn't dance. No. No. You don't I like to it. dance? Yes, I am. <laughs> you can dance in the wheelies. Ah, the wheelies. No, yeah, yeah. no, not in wheelies. <laughs> no wheelies. Yeah. You, you, you can dance. Okay. All right, guys. Well. I want to thank you because it's Friday and even it's Friday, you connect and you come and you practice and it's a big effort. It's a big effort because ah, you are tired, you work all week. So thank you so much for coming. And I hope, remember, work in the platform, continue the lessons, finish the activities. And on Monday, we continue the class. Only four more classes, only four more classes a week. So this weekend, Remember, finish the lessons, finish the platform, okay? And Wednesdays. No copy. No, no copy. copy. You try, you Wednesday. try, Oli. You can do it. No, 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 no. Exactly. Leticia. <laughs> Leticia, ya no te voy a contestar ninguna llamada. Teacher. Yes, Teacher, I think Wednesday is speaking of. No mojito, yes, Oli. Oh. Ah, yes, oh, I yes, think. mojito. I finished you are right the performance. Is the Independence Day maybe, on, maybe on a Wednesday? Day, it's day up. Maybe I it's day up. Edwin, I think you are correct. I think Wednesday is off. So maybe, maybe we have class on Friday. Okay. I don't remember. <laughs> um, hang on. I have a schedule. I can tell you. But you are correct. Edwin, you are correct. Wednesday, we don't, we don't work. I don't remember if we have class. Monday, you. Monday, I think maybe. It, uh, wait, wait. You can. Yes, yes, yes. Edwin, you are correct. We have class Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and then we have class again Monday. Monday, okay. Okay, so yes. So I see okay. you Monday. I see you on Monday. We have four more classes. Okay, for my class. Okay, teacher. Okay. 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 All right, guys. Okay. Have a good night. Yeah, good night. Bye. 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 Have Bye. a good week. Bye. Bye. You See too. you on Monday. Bye. See you Monday. You wheelies. <laughs> Don't drink and drive. Uh -huh. Enjoy the mojitos. Don't drink and drive. Yeah, the yes, the cantilados. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. La cantina. Okay, Oli. Okay, la cantina. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. I know. Well, it's a good place.